When you're working with a unit circle, there are three ways to name points on that circle. And that can be as an ordered pair, in degrees, or in radians. And we're going to have videos on all these. Okay, first of all, let's start with the radius of the circle. We're assuming that the radius is one unit. And we start with the center being at the point zero, zero. So here's our origin, zero, zero. And since our radius is one, these four points, which become our main reference points, have one in the coordinate. So this first point is 0, 1. The next point up here is, I'm sorry, the first one is 1, 0. The second one is 0, 1. This third one on the left is negative 1, 0. And the bottom one is 0, negative 1. So those are the four ordered pairs. Now let's look at the degrees for each of those four. Okay, this point over here on the right, that's 1, 0, can be written either as 0 degrees or 360 because a circle, if we made a full circle and came back here, that would be 360 degrees. This point can be written as 90 degrees because we're 90 degrees away from the reference or the x-axis. Over here on the left, that's 180 degrees because we've traveled 180 degrees from the first, the first point over here. The one at the bottom is 270 degrees because we've just added another 90 to our 180. And of course, if we go all the way around the circle, that brings us back to 360 degrees. So there are the basics of the order pairs and the degrees. Now let's talk about radians. So I've given you a clean sheet to kind of look at. Okay, here's our point, one, zero. Now in radians, halfway around the circle, we call that pi. All the way around the circle is two pi. So we have fourths, or uh, so a four, halfway around, or a fourth of the way around the circle would be half of pi, or pi halves. Three fourths of the way around the circle would be three halves pi. So you've got half pi, pi, three halves, and then two pi. Hope this video was helpful.